Hello trainee and colleague, I'm Trainer Lex again and that was Auto Star Delta circuit and I'll be taking you through step by step. So in this circuit we need uh, two push button NC and NO, three contactors and uh, thermal oval relay and also an MCB a circuit breaker for protection of the control circuit as well. Here is the uh, control circuit diagram as you can see. So I'll be taking you through step by step. First, pause the video and look at the diagram so that you can understand the control circuit diagram. Then we can go ahead and start mounting. As you can see, I'm um, doing the installation, the connection between the power supply and the single pole circuit breaker, which will protect my circuit. And then thereafter, uh, from the thermal overload relay to the circuit breaker, that's P95. And then P96 of the thermal overload relay will connect to the the nc push button that's the stop button the one see, the one you see in red so that's the pin 96 of the thermal oval relay for this case those are the two uh, the contacts you're going to use in the thermal oval relay there's no other contact you're going to use then pin 2 of the uh, normal closed uh, push button that's the stop push button will go to pin 3 of the start push button the one you see in green for this case i'll terminate that pin 3 of the no push button loosely but uh, I'll need to terminate it again with another holding cable that will come from normally open terminals of the main contact that is uh, pin 14. Let me take the pin 4 or the terminal 4 of the push button now to the A1 of the main contactor that's A1 is the energy coil contacts of the main contactor. Then thereafter uh, we are going to return a cable but through the normal open contacts as you can see the uh, those are contact 13 and 14 from the contactor uh, from here you'll see three cables emanating so one cable is from the uh, start push button another cable is going to the timer and another cable is looping to the normally open uh, contacts on the contactor now let's uh, terminate the a2 that's the neutral to the a2 of the main contactor so in that case the energy coils are complete my thermal overload relay interlocks with the contactor that's why you can see it so easy to do but for your case if you need cables to do that can you do so remember we have three cables emanating from a1 of the main contactor so the timer will take one cable and that cable will go to the pin 55 in this case i'm using a man, man, mechanical timer delay timer uh, but let's first connect the holding cable from pin 14 back to pin 3 of start timer and then let's do the test all right it's working now let's lock the timer and see it work as well you see nice one now let's do it for the timer and the remaining contactors as well so from the normally closed of the timer we are going to take it to the delta energy coil but through the normally closed terminals of the star conductor that one we call it interlocking connection i'll tell you why we do that so from pin 22 of the star now uh, we'll go to the a1 of the delta contactor that's the contactor two that one's for the delta and then the other one now from the normally uh, open con uh, contact of the timer will go to the uh, star a1 but through delta contactor that is uh, contactor two that's why you're seeing the normally closed again terminals of the delta contactor uh, now going to the uh, a1 energy coil of uh, contactor three that one we call it interlocking connection it helps to make sure that no at any given point these two contactor will be on so the remember the main contactor works uh, adjacent with each contactor so for the star connection the main contactor will work with the with the the star and then for delta connection the main contactor will work with the delta contactor in that manner so we have already connected the the black cable connects both A2 from main contactor to the delta and to the star. Now we are looping the the energy coil that from came from A1 to timer to also to the terminals of the normally open 
In that manner, we are done and we can test. Oh, yeah. So I have set for five seconds delay. That's all. Thank you.